Hey, welcome back to the Fit to Survive channel. So what I have here today to show you is my survival kit in a water bottle. All right, so first thing I'm gonna point out is gonna be the actual, the case that it's in. It's important to have a case for it because whenever you need to use the bottle, you'll have to take all the gear inside of the bottle and dump it into your bag. And then there's actually a couple of different options that I found for the bag. This one's slightly larger, but it comes with a compartment in the front which should give you some extra space to pack some extra stuff in there. But since this video is more about fitting a survival kit into a water bottle, I use this basically minimal, minimalist kind of like bag here. All right, so I'm gonna put this over here to the side. All right, so this is the Nalgene bottle. So you can see from the outside already some of the stuff inside of there. All right, let's go ahead and open this up and I'll show you what's inside. So the very top, I have a flashlight. And now this flashlight is not very bright. The reason why I chose this flashlight is because it's a wind up. And so you wind that up and you turn it on and you've got your flashlight. The reason why I went with this flashlight is because it does not need AA batteries. It does not need to be recharged. And so however long this solar case is gonna be sitting wherever it sits, Whenever you open it up, you know that your flash is going to work. You just got to wind it up and you'll have light. All right. Next thing I have in here is two things jumped out. I have a bit of gauze. This is the self-conforming gauze. All right, so for, for a bit of medical reasons, I have that in there. Then I have, this is a wound seal. And basically it's for for base for bleeds that are don't want to stop by themselves you pour this in it's like a powder and it helps uh, stop the bleeding right, and the next thing comes out I have the Swiss Army knife and this has the knife it has the scissors and the saw all right so you got your saw here your scissors and the original of the knife and all that and over here I have and if you haven't seen this before I have a special video demonstrating this this is waterproof tender. It's from Tortoise Gear. And so if you want to see how that works, I have a video and so I'll include uh, um, basically a, a card for that so you guys can find that if you're interested in seeing how that works. Now right here also from Tortoise Gear, this is the Firefly. And this is a Ferocium Rod. And so basically you'd use this for starting a fire. Use the back side of your saw. All right, so that is the Swiss Army knife. All right, and then what this is, this right here is a dry fuel tablet. And so it's good way if you're trying to start a fire and you don't have much fuel, as in like wood or whatever else for getting it started. And so basically this burns for I measured it one time. I think it's something like 10 to 12 minutes it burns. And so that's that's good for helping you get a fire started. And so I'll come back to this once we get onto our matches. I'll show you how that lights. And the next thing I have here is this wire saw. And also I've already demonstrated this before in a previous video. And so if you haven't seen that, be sure to go back and watch that. This saw actually does really good for cutting through wood really fast. And so another good item to have for a survival kit. And the rubber handles make it a lot easier on your hands if you're doing it by hand. Everything's in here nice and tight. So this is want to come out as well. All right, we'll go for this next. So this is a small little fishing kit. You have your your fishing line, some weights, you have the little um, bait right there. It looks like a little worm or something. All right, then I have a bunch of small little gear in here. The compass. We have some zip ties. Zip ties can fix anything. That and duct tape. A right, little splinter out. I've shown this before in my medical kit. This is a small little metal tool meant for like digging at uh, splinters and anything like that. Right, a small hairband, 
because yes, it can save you in an emergency. All right, some copper wire that can be used for making a snare or also for fixing things. Some more hair pieces there. I have a water purification tablet, not my preferred way to clean water. An alcohol wipe. Here's a small little lead light also. And I have a safety pin, paper clip, and these are snap lights. And so they're really dull, but you can use them for, they help you kind of like find your gear or whatever else. And so they're not very bright, but they'll work in a pinch. All right, then here what we have, this is a wound dressing, can you see right there? It's wrapped up with some tape, simply to keep this from scratching the rest of the gear. And what this is, this is a ferrosium rod also, and it has the magnesium. And so if you've not seen this before, I'll demonstrate that. What you do is, this magnesium is like a metal, okay, it is a metal, and you scrape some of it off, on here so I don't burn my top. So what you do is you scrape some of this off. And of course, the more shavings that you have, the better that it will burn. The nice thing about it is that you don't need like a match or whatever else to get a fire started. You can just use this. And what you'll need is a lot of dry tinder to put around it. All right, let's see if I can get this the light with this camera in front of me. All right, so there it goes. And of course, the magnesium leaves. A bunch of ash that flies. All right. So that was the, the magnesium and the ferrosium rod. So just kind of like a secondary method for starting a fire getting going. All right. Next thing down in here, I have 550 cord. Now this is the, uh, the Titan survivor cord. And I've shown this several times in several of my videos. And what's nice about it is that inside of the, of the 550 cord, there's a bunch of different cords. So you have your usual strands that it usually comes with. And also you have this thin copper wire, again, really good for making snares for traps for you know kind of helping you set up if you're setting up a, a camp or um trying to make like some some kind of covering for yourself to stay warm then it has a fishing line and i don't see it for some there it is it's hiding this is also waterproof it's like tinder and so what you do is you just shred it apart and you can light that also just to kind of help you get your fire going going so that's why i carry this um, Titan paracord in all of my packs. All right. Then I have some duct tape. And I basically just rolled it on top of itself so it doesn't take much space. But duct tape is amazing for doing <laughs> just about anything. So it's always good to have duct tape close by. All right. Then also, essential for a survival kit is you need a method to get fresh water or clean water, should I say. And so this is the Sawyer, it's the water filter. And so I have here to demonstrate that, I have this dirty water, as you can see. And here I have this bag. You could use this like a straw, where what you would do is basically you just stick it in the water and then you drink from it. But also, kind of more convenient, especially because what you'd want to do if you're in a survival situation, is you'd want to take all your gear out of the bottle and put it into, the bag and you can carry that on your belt and then as soon as you find water you'll want to fill up your entire bottle with water using your filter but you can't do that just by using like a straw you would need the bag to be able to fill this up all right so let's see if i can get this in here without making a mess on the table And so this water is really dirty, but hopefully you'd be able, in a survival situation, be able to find like a creek where you have running water 
that doesn't have as much dirt and stuff floating in it. But this will work as a good demonstration. What you do is you then just screw this onto this bottle like this. All right, like that. And I have here this clear cup so you can see how clean it comes out. And what you do is, let me scoot it over so you can see what I'm doing. And what you do is you just roll up the bottle. I'm not, sorry, the bottle, the bag. All right, there you go. And it has a yellowish tint, but that is from my light up above. All right, so that is the filter. All the dirt is still inside of this bag, so I'll just set it to the side. All right, then farther down. All right, this is a SOS ration. So this is how it comes. And what it is, is basically it is a it's like kind of like one meal. This is this is intended to be one meal. It has 400 calories, and so um, it tastes kind of like a like a honey wafer to me. And so it's really sweet, and so it's a really compact way also to carry a meal. But in a survival situation, you actually you could you know use this just enough to kind of keep you going because uh, it has lots of sugar in it, lots of um, lots of calories in it to give you the energy to keep going. Um, in a survival situation. You can, you can live, they say, up to three weeks without food. Of course, it won't be pleasant. You won't want, you'll be really miserable. But it's important to be able to find water. Um, it's important to be able to, to find shelter and to get yourself out of the cold, out of the direct heat. All right, so we finally got to the matches. These are also waterproof matches. So let me get this back over here. And I'll show you that dry fuel. Takes just a bit to get the light. Really, um, kind of a popular brand would be Esbit, and so you've probably heard of an Esbit. This is basically the same thing, but it's in a round, uh, kind of a round tablet instead of the usual square that Esbit comes in. So I keep it over the side. You guys can keep that in your view. All right, then further down, I have basically a fixed blade. This is from A.G. Russell. And this could be worn around your neck with this strand right here, around your neck, and you'd have the blade hanging and accessible like that. All right. These right here are the, these are compressed towels, And so you can add water onto these. Also, I've demonstrated this a couple of times before already. Um, you basically just add water to it, and it begins to grow. So I dip that into the cup, and dip that in there again. So once you dip it in the, in the water, then it grows, and you can open it up. You can use it as a wet wipe, or if you don't add as much water, you can use it as toilet paper, which would be the main reason why I would have it in this survival kit, because it also can be important for survival to have good hygiene. All right, so those can be used as wet wipes, as um, toilet paper. All right, further in here, the pencil. I have some super glue. This is crazy glue. I have a Fresnel lens. If you've not seen a Fresnel lens before, it is basically like a magnifying glass, but it's flat. All right, so it's thin, but actually it works really good. You can use this for starting a fire also. Kind of cool. Also, just kind of have a secondary kind of backup for starting a fire. All right, then this is a carabiner. I carry this in the water bottle because once you fill it with water, if you want, you can attach it to your belt using the carabiner. So you attach it to that, and you attach it to your belt, or if you had a pack. All right, so the carabiner. 
last but definitely not least, almost last, this is an emergency blanket. And this is what you would use to make your shelter, okay? Because they say you can live up to three hours depending on what the circumstances are. You know, if it's if you're in good weather, of course, you can survive outside for much longer than three hours. If you're in the cold, if you're in direct heat or whatever, then you can use this as a blanket or you can use it with your, um, your 550 cord and set up kind of like a rough um, hut, if you want to say, or just some way to get yourself out of the, uh, the weather. And so this is kind of like a foil, but it's, it's not quite like foil. I don't know how to even explain what it's like. What it does, it reflects your heat back towards you. This can also be used as a signaling mirror because the silvery side is very reflective. And so in a surround situation, if you're trying to get your attention, uh, trying, to get, trying to get people to notice you, to find you, you can use this shiny side and you know, basically use it as a signaling mirror. All right, and then the very last thing in here is I have this antibiotic ointment. And that, of course, goes with the gauze and all that. All right, and then once you're done, then you have just your, your empty water bottle. And so all this gear you would put back into the pouch. All right, if you don't have a pouch on your, on your water bottle survival kit, it kind of becomes kind of a pain because if you need your water bottle but you don't have a pouch, then what would you carry all your gear in? You have to try to shove it in your pockets or you know, discard it. And so it's important to have the two together. All right, so that is all for this survival kit in a water bottle. And so hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully it was helpful. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.